Hi, Jason Hollis Farms this morning. JC and Pete been eating breakfast. I drank me a Dr. Pepper <clears throat> and it's raining again. Try not to complain because I know we need it or we wouldn't be getting it. So we fixing to load a little feed up, do a little feeding, and then don't have any hunters today. Kind of see what we can get into. I'll be back. All right, y'all, this done got to raining hard now, so I left JC in the box. We've been out playing for a while. I didn't want to carry both of them to town and it raining, and I got to get out and all. This Pete right here is a mess now. He, <laughs> he likes that little bed. He, uh, he runs crazy for a while, and then he's ready for a nap. So... They all gonna be fun, but I got my hands full. Anyway, we gotta run to town, do a few errands, get a few things for the brown house, and then we'll be back and see what we can get into. Dodge. I think it's gonna rain all day. All right, y'all, man. JC had to make a little trip to the DG. I'll show y'all what we got when we get back. All right, y'all, so here's what I got at the DG. I got me a few Dr. Peppers in the bottle this time. And here's what my plan is. Here lately, I know I don't need to be drinking so many, so I end up opening up a can at daylight, drinking part of it and pouring the rest out. And then by lunchtime, I may get a sweet tea or something like that. But what my plan is with these bottles, I'm going to drink what I want and then save it. And then hopefully, before the day's over, all I've had is that one, so... Sounds like a good plan. We'll see if I can stick to it. And let's see what else we got. Got us a big package of Charmin. That goes in the barn over there where I'm working out. Got some Tide Pods. If I can get them out. Some Tide Pods for the brown house over here. And a big old batch of soap. Keep these hunters clean. Alright y'all, so me and Pete's up in the race car trailer now. I have possibly found me a tire rack. It's aluminum that's already made. Uh, if I get it, I can either bolt it down or put it on casters. I'm fixing to do a little measuring. And the thing, I believe it was 78. I'm going to set y'all down while I... Well, let me see if y'all can see right here. Let's see. All right, come here. Come here, Pete. The thing is 78 inches long. Well, this first is 23 wide. I can deal with that. It's 73 inches long. It's going to be a little bit long. And I may want to put it up front here. Let's go up here and we'll measure and see how much room we got across the front here. I'm not sure. I may I may end up building me a rack to put this toolbox up front. Just not sure yet. Just kind of moving everything around and trying to get it like I want it. I don't think I got near enough here for that. By golly, it's close though. Tell you what, that's 71 inches. Y'all see me? That's 71 inches across here. I tell y'all what I might do. 23 out to here. And see this, uh, 
this cabinet that you you think you're gonna take up cabinet space, but that's the generator box. So if I could make that thing where it straddled the winch and get a little more weight up here on the front and on the right side, and I think I would still have plenty of room for the four-wheeler. Uh-oh, Pete done jumped out. Pete, where you going? Where you going? He might have to poop or something. Let's see. Let's see if Pete got. Pete had to pee. Pete got. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Pete jumped out of the race car trailer to pee. That's pretty good. He's learning. All right. Back on this. I think this might be a pretty good option. Get a little more weight over here. I leave the toolbox there, or this might be the trick here. We put the tie rack across there. If I get it, I have to trim it down a little bit. Put it there, and then we make something, some extension, a freestanding deal that will bolt down here for the toolbox. And then I think we got more room to put the tires up there than we do right here. This thing's coming together, coming together. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on this tire rack. If I get it in here, then we can move it around to see which one we like better. But I'm liking this idea better and better. If we can make it to where it kind of straddles the winch, tires up here, more weight on the right side of the trailer. With the, we got the tires there, four wheeler here. And then of course, two boxes already over anyway, so. That might work. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, I got a dog off the chain. Come here, Rudy. So, come here, Rudy. Come here, Rudy. Come on, man. He ain't never been off right up here. Come here, Rudy. He gonna run for me. For a minute, he's chained much bro. There he is. Come on, bud. Come on, Rudy. Roo. Come on, Rudy. Roo. What'd you do? What'd you do, boy? Oh, he broke his snap. All right, we got some work to do now. I thought I heard my dogs raising a little cane. That's old Rudy. He is a good one. And then over time, them things wear out. And these old dogs about ain't going to go nowhere. I just need to get him put back up. I got to go find me a snap here in just a second. I usually buy a few at a time. That way I can fix them when they break. All right, y'all, these last snaps I bought are like that. I'm not just crazy about them, but they'll do okay. They was out of the other kind that I like. It'll last a little while. Everything's gonna wear out the way they run around and pull on them chains sometime, but just part of having dogs. All right, y'all, it's finally quit raining. Me and JC and Pete's finna go do a little feeding. Before I go, I wanted to show y'all something. I've wore muck boots for a long time. These are just regular uninsulated muck boots. I like them because you can just fold them down when it's a little muddy and just kind of wear them like that. They're kind of a, a loose fit. And when I had some problems with my feet, I started wearing them real wider ones, uh, kind of loose fitting to let my feet heal up. I had some surgery, I had some bone cut off my foot a few years ago. But anyway, oh, I like the muck boots. Oh, just slopping around. They don't have just a ton of support. If you get into your lacrosse boots, the old LaGrange, the, just the green ones and all, they end up with a lot more ankle support and all. They're hard to get on, a little harder to get on if you cast real big and stuff, but they offer a lot more support. And I generally, I wear these muck boots turkey hunting a lot, but a lot of times I've got the old cheaper, I think they call it the LaGrange um, lacrosse boot, lots more support little when you when things are tight around your feet and ankles and all you can walk quieter but i think i did a video last year on these new sneeze 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 ever how you want to pronounce it i'm gonna clean it off where y'all can read it and y'all can pronounce it how you want to let's see if i can get it in there can y'all read that s-c-h-n s-c-h-n-e-e-s i think it's sneeze is the proper but these right here are just a slip-on leather upper rubber bottom they're pretty much waterproof especially because they got the thinsulate liner that comes in and out 
I think most of y'all has been watching me a while, saw me get these last year and test them. They're pretty doggone warm. I've got another set that are more made. They're like a pack boot, and they've got a, a lot bigger heel, and the toe is pointed, and it's got a big, thick felt liner, and they're more made for riding horses, mules when it's cold. Uh, they are super warm. These are kind of an in-between type, especially working, running around feeding and doing what we're doing. They're plenty waterproof enough. Tuck your britches in where you don't get your britches all wet, but I am really liking these boots. They are just super comfortable. I used to wear bean boots uh, that laced so you can tie them up and get a little more support when you're doing a lot of walking, but these are these are pretty good. Uh, of course, the older they get, they're kind of they kind of get a little floppy, but most of the time that's okay. I'm not running a marathon, but I would like to have me a pair that laced up just to get a little tighter and give a little more support. But I am really liking these. If you're just wanting a pretty nice pair of work, hunt, do all boots, these sneeze boots or sneeze whatever you say, they're pretty nice and they're really easy on and off, and they're pretty doggone warm. All right, I'm finna strap a pair of these on and we gotta go do a little feeding. Come on. These two right here is a mess now. All right, we already got us a few bags of feed loaded up from this morning where we didn't finish, where it started pouring. Down. All right, got the crew loaded up. They look like they're ready, don't they? Let me tell y'all what. I got me a group. <laughs> they a handful. That is a stud right there. All right, y'all, we got that done. Not just a whole lot going on today. Gonna be days like that. Y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers. HollisFarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.